Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And, uh, you know, we're in, we're in the book of Proverbs, and we're going to be in the book of Proverbs for a while. And I love Proverbs because it teaches us how not to be idiots with our life. So on that note, have you ever received an invitation to something? Maybe it was something that was surprising, uh, and it ended up being amazing, wonderful, delightful, just incredible to you. Uh, or maybe you turned it down. You didn't say yes, and later on you went, oh, I wish I'd said yes to that. I mean, maybe you had a friend that tried to get you to invest in Microsoft or Google or Amazon or even Walmart way back in the day, and you're like, nah, I don't need to do that, and now you kick yourself. See, those surprise invitations oftentimes uh, lead us to blessings. So I was in seminary, I was 25 years old, and I got a surprise invitation to uh, participate in a mission trip to Kenya. And uh, at the time, I wasn't expecting it. It was leaving in a few weeks. I didn't even have a passport. And I hesitated for about uh, three seconds, and then I said yes. And going on that trip, God changed my life and my understanding of ministry. It, it was really a life-changing experience because I accepted the invitation. Well, uh, if you say yes to God, he's going to change your life. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verses 20 through 33 is an invitation from wisdom to learn from her. Listen to just some of these uh, verses. Beginning of verse 20, Wisdom cries aloud in the street. In the markets, she raises her voice. At the head of the noisy street, she cries out. At the entrance of the city gates, she speaks. How long, O simple ones? How long will you love being simple? I just love that. The question, do you want to be an idiot? How long are you going to be an idiot? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing and fools hate knowledge? And here's the promise. If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make my words known to you because I have called you and you refuse to listen. Now here's the rebuke. Because I've called you and you refused to listen, because I've stretched out my hand and no one has heeded because you have ignored all my counsel and would have none of my reproof, wisdom goes on to say, I am going to laugh at your calamity. I'm going to uh, just mock you when terror strikes you. Now, that, that sounds kind of brutal, but that's absolutely what happens in our life. God is inviting you and me to learn wisdom from him. And if we learn wisdom from him, he's going to pour out his spirit on us and we're going to know his words. We're going to know the truth. But if we ignore or reject the wisdom of God, then calamity is going to strike us, terror is going to happen, and we're going to reap what we've sown. So the choice is ours. We can accept the invitation to wisdom. We can learn from God and let him change our lives, or we can ignore God, ignore his truth, ignore his word, and suffer the consequences. I'm praying that you will choose wisdom. Uh, here's my challenge. While we're teaching through Proverbs, I'm just going to challenge you to read a chapter of Proverbs every single day. That means that if you follow with us, you'll read through this book four or five times before we're done. You'll just, you'll just be filling yourself with the wisdom of God on a daily basis. So I challenge you to do that. Just read a chapter of Proverbs every single day and, of course, watch these daily words and learn from the wisdom of God because God will bless you. Hey, I hope this blesses you, and I'm praying that you choose not to be an idiot.